Good morning. Good morning. Good Monday morning. Uh, it's April. 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 Welcome to April. Yeah, this is this is this is a lot, and this is like our I don't know eleventh. We have like eleven videos up. Um, yeah, things things go fast. Things go fast. Uh, we trust that you are well. That, that that you had a great Easter weekend. You had lots of friends, lots of family, and stuff. That things went well. Good morning, Cindy Mills. Um, but um, we hope that your weekend was restful and restorative. Um, who else we got there? Rhonda, Rhonda Edwards. Welcome, Rhonda. Um, that things went well um, for you this weekend, and, and now that you'll be jettisoned into a um, – Bill Logan. Hello. Hey, Bill. Um, that you'll be jettisoned into a fantastic week. Uh, we appreciate you um, dropping by this morning for Real Talk with Deb and Will. We're a little late this morning. Running a little behind this morning. Why? <laughs> we had an active dating weekend. <laughs> yes. Yes. We want to talk. We're not as young as we used to be. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, is anybody out there as young as they used to be? Or are you just as young as you were maybe yesterday? Maybe yesterday. Happy lady, belated Easter. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about the um, the joy of active dating, and what and, and, and what that means, especially um, especially as a married couple, and and in particular if you're a married couple with children, um, how how important that is um, to keep your marriage alive. Uh, you need to have active dating. Yes. So, and, and because a lot of times, you know, what it, it's really, it's real. It, we all understand it's real easy to get busy, uh, and we understand that with kids, a lot of times, especially with small children, it's like really, really easy to get. I mean, to stay busy and to quite, quite frankly, be overwhelmed um, and stressed, um, tired a lot. You know, from especially if you work as well as um, take care of your, a home and uh, you're active in your community and in the church and uh, life can get busy. Yeah, I mean, you have, if you have if you have small kids, uh, all the you guys all you all you all know of the um, the the stress and strain of take just taking care of small kids, and then even when they get older, you know what you know what if, if, if you got more than one or even if you only have one. The idea of they have to be there, they have to be here, they have to be there. They get they need this, they need that, they need that poster board. Why? Because I got to have that science experiment because it's due tomorrow. <laughs> it's due in the morning, uh, and it's Sunday afternoon. It, it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> yeah, great. So you know what? It's that sort of lifestyle that that we all lead, really. That that, that we've all led, or we all lead. Um, some of you are going through it now, <clears throat> so it's really easy to be really busy um, and forget kind of, and I don't think, I don't think anybody does it on purpose. I don't think there's any, you know, what, any, any ill will. I don't think anybody does it on purpose, but you know what, there's only X number of hours in, in, in a day and days in a week. And so sometimes the, the most important relationship in the house um, is why you, and the reason why you should have a house <laughs> and why a family, the family gets neglected. The most important relationship in the house, and I, and I know this is going to be controversial, but we well, we talked about this when we started this thing eleven or so videos ago. That we'd be saying things to you that that, that sometimes uh, that you'd be going, I don't know, that's so true. Well, it is. The most important relationship in the house is not the relationship between the parents and the children. It's not the most important relationship in the house. The most important relationship in the house is between mom and dad. Yes, that relationship must be protected at all costs. Because without it, there isn't anything else. You don't have a family. It's a linchpin to the family. If you don't have the, the people that started the whole relationship. So, so unless you take care of that relationship, you don't have anything. So, um, so you know, and people talk about this all the time. And, and, and I know that everybody gets in the, in the fits and starts and, and stops and starts of, of these kind of things. A lot of people have been really good about date night mm -hmm. where you sort of just, cordon off a day 
um, and you say, this is the day that we go to dinner, this is the day that we go to a movie, this is the day that we... Um, Just take a walk in the park together. Go and, you know, lunch in, in the park. sit by the pool at night, um, put them all to bed at 6 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> but, but the sun is still out. Shut up and go to bed. <laughs> I can't. The sun is in my eye. <laughs> and that's going to be a reality for a lot of y'all because that's going to pass here in Florida uh, where we're going to have daylight saving times all the time. So you're going to have to be trying to shove those kids in the bed in the middle of the day. Good luck. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, it, it could be any, it's anything that you decide to do. It's anything that you decide to do. Um, and trying and trying your best to do it on a regular basis. When it's just the two of you, um, it doesn't count bringing the baby. You can't bring the baby. You can't bring uh, the the teenager because you you know you all want to talk and shit chat. No, no, it's just you and your spouse. And it doesn't count when you go out with friends either. No. Yeah, that's we just, just made this tough, didn't we? <laughs> we just made this hard. <laughs> no, you made it hard. You just made it hard. <laughs> and it doesn't count going over to friends' house and you all having dinner together. Nope. That's not just you and your spouse. It's family it's, reunions. Oh my god, family reunions <laughs> especially don't count. <laughs> don't count at all. No, and it doesn't count if you leave the kids with a babysitter and you go over to. Um, your mom's house and and eat that that's not a date night don't get cute <laughs> don't try to get cute try to pay attention to what we're saying it's only you two that's it that's it without anybody else alone together or together alone i couldn't figure that out we're trying to i'm trying to think about this last night when we got we got back um some of you who follow us on instagram i know that, that we took um the weekend off um and went across the state to Daytona Beach uh, for a couple of days, and um, we tried to do some Instagram. We tried to do some um, some Facebook, but we got to Bubba Gump Shrimp in um, in in Daytona, and um, they don't allow. They don't like the internet to work all that well, so we didn't we couldn't do a bunch from there. But uh, we'll, I'll, I'll I'll be posting some pictures that we took on our Instagram page and and our Facebook pages soon. Um, but that's important, you know, just. You, we like the huge gesture. We like to go to Europe, you know. We like to go to you know, We like to, you know. To, to, and that will happen one day. To go on a go on a cruise, you know. You like to do those things, but you cannot. I don't think you can get to that point until you can go to Denny's on a Friday night. I know that sounds low budget, but if that's what the but if that's what the budget says, then that's what you do. Um, because we've been doing that for a while. Yeah. We've been going to Denny's. Denny's. We got a good steak at Denny's. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Me too. Me too. So it's been, you know, you know, but it's purposeful. It's intentional. You know, a lot of the word of 2018 for, for you know, in, in a lot of aspects is be, be intentional. You've heard that before, right? Be intentional. Um, and this is one of those things. Be intentional. Um, so do what you have to do. You know what? If, if if Denny's on Friday is all you can it's all, all you can do, well, please by all means do that. Um, if you can only go away for a night, do that. Um, especially if you have older kids or you know what, or or the kids are gone or whatever, do that. Whatever you can do. It's important to get out of the house and and have to have that a change of atmosphere and be able to uh, have some adult conversations without th thinking that the kids may hear you or, or if you're taking care of family, you know, you may have your mom or your dad in the household, you know, you need breaks from that as well. Because I know as we get older, sometimes you are, you, the, the tables are turned and you're taking care of your parents and they're in the household and you have to put them to bed kind of early, you know, <laughs> you know, it, you can't put me in bed. I'm a grown ass man. You can't put me in a bed. The sun is still up. Oh, oh, oh. But uh, we, we all have different aspects of where we are in this path, this journey that we're on. And um, so you, it's important that you get away from, from that aspect of taking care of them. Um, being a caregiver um, can sometimes um, be more stressful than having small kids. 
you know, because the tables are turned and you're stressed because you're taking care of somebody who used to take care of you. And um, you, 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 it's a different kind of stress. So you need to take a break and get a vacation from that as well. If you have to hire a nurse or, or have somebody come in and take care of them. But a, a lot of marriages fail you know, after the fact of the kids are all grown, grown, the parents pass away, unfortunately, that does happen. And then it's just the two of you and you don't have these anything to do. You don't have to get dad to the doctor. You don't have to um, get the kids to football practice. You don't have to do the banquets and this and the other and all the running around that you're doing, taking care of other people. And you didn't take care of this. Because that's because all those things become become what the relationship is. All those other things became what become the the partner the partnership of uh of of the relationship and not the core of what the relationship should be. The core needs to be whatever connect whatever this connection is, and maintaining that connection over a over an extended period of time. It, it became all the stuff. It became getting the kids to practice. It became, uh, and then and then that morphed into like Debbie was saying, you know what, taking care of mom and dad, um, it, you know, and 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 then all the stuff, taking care of the house, taking care uh, of all your community obligations. You you know what, you guys are active in the church. You're active in in community groups. You're active in the NAACP or the NCC or the N, NCAA uh, basketball, whatever you're active in. Um, that became the core of the relationship. Um, so whatever connection that you had when you met and when you married and when you had babies, um, you've replaced that with something else. And I know <clears throat> for all my church going folks, I know, I know, I know Debbie has a lot of church going people on, on her page that you're all saying, but you know what, you know what, we, you know, we, we do a lot in the church and that's fine. That's super. That's, that's good. And you should. But your pastor will tell you that your relationship is extremely important because without that relationship, you can't really serve that well at church. If, if things aren't going well at home, serving serving at church, you can't really do your best anyway. Because your mind isn't there most of the time if you if you if your relationship isn't working, and out. you don't have that strong base to jump off jump off into um, in the service, and this becomes your base. Everything that you do. You know what? The, you, your your relationship is the base that you jump off. It's like um, the, di the difference between jumping off uh, a pool from a mattress as opposed to a diving board. Diving board is sort of stiff and strong and allows people to get pretty high. Where if you try to jump off your your bed, your mattress is soft and not nearly as springy and not nearly as firm, and you're not nearly going to get as high, you're probably going to fall off and break your leg. So you need a strong foundation by which to jump off from, no matter what kind of service that you think you're doing, whether it's, again, whether it's in your church or community or whatever. Um, but so you have to continue to build that. You have to continue to build that. And I think that, hey, Valerie, that you, you, that you have to continue to do the things you need to do. And one of the things that you definitely need to do and that we suggest, um, we really suggest, we demand that you do, is to um, make sure that you actively, that you continue to, to actively date. Um, and, and whatever, and, and, and like I said before, it's whatever you can do. Dating brought you together, you know, when you, date, you dated and different things. And what I think happens is that after the kids go and all of that go, and you start being there alone, because most people are retired or one of them is retired and are, are you know, uh, not working as much or whatever, and you tend to spend more time together and you're there and you realize, I don't really know this person anymore. Who are you? <laughs> and, you know, it's, it, you haven't grown at the same pace. You haven't changed at the same pace because you were too busy doing things that you didn't realize that this person doesn't like to, what is it that you have changed? Um, you've changed in, and I don't even know what he's changed. <laughs> it's, it's a little, it's not good. I'm exactly the same as I was 30 years ago. I'm exactly the same as I was when I was seven. <laughs> no, you're not. 
you have matured a lot and you have changed over the years. Since I was seven. That was it. I went, ooh. <laughs> seven. Exactly the same as I was seven. Um, but, um, pretty set in my ways as a young as Hi, a Julie. But, uh, yes, and Michelle, I didn't get, we didn't address Michelle. Um, also, you, you, you need to continue to know what your spouse likes, what you, you know, what communications, I mean, sometimes you, uh, and we have found ourselves like that. Sometimes you're sitting and you're, uh, alone at that quiet times and you're like, so what do we talk about? We, you, you can't talk about the kids. <laughs> That's off limits. You can't talk about work because you talk about work all the time. You can't. You got to find something else that you actively like to talk about that you're both interested in. Things like that. And I have in, found that I like sports. I can sit and watch football. I can sit and watch basketball. Is kind of tough. I'm not, I don't really care for basketball. Well, we much, don't care for basketball in the house that much anyway. That's so. true. And um, I can actively sit and talk about football with my husband and 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 actually enjoy it. So take that time when you're dating and and going out together to to try and realize you know some things that you have in common other than family issues, other than the daily tra trials of, of life. Because uh, one day when everybody's gone and you both retired and you think you want to travel and you want to do all these different things together and you sitting there in the house together in the, <laughs> and and you realize, I don't really know this person. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to, you you don't because you, what you can't do is you can't put all that off for thirty years, thirty five, forty years, and then and then you're going to spend all this really good quality time together. Um, no, and and and, and unfortunately, we see all the time of people who've been married uh, twenty five years and then and then get divorced. Mm -hmm. I think what even thirty years and, and thirty then, and forty years and they get divorced and then they get divorced and you're like how is that possible because there was no buffer of stuff between them there was no and when I say buffer of stuff I mean things to do mm -hmm. because all those things things that you progressed went away the kids the job all the stuff went away and now it's just metal <laughs> metal on metal. And then they decide, and then they figure out because they didn't take care of the most important relationship in the house all this time that that relationship went away. That they had stronger relationships with people outside the marriage, and we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know what? In a future, in a future cast, um, they had stronger relationships with other people outside the marriage, and I'm, I'm and I'm not just talking about um, infidelity, just in general. That, yeah. that they had strong relationships with, with family or Girlfriend. friends or whatever um, outside um, than they did inside because, they, because their inside relationship um, was full of stuff to do. And because they were accomplishing these things successfully, they thought their relationship was successful. No, their partnership in, you know, what, in parenting may have actually been successful. Because their kids, you know, didn't get pregnant, they didn't get done, they aren't in drugs, they're not in jail, they're all responsible, blah, 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 all this stuff. The bills were getting paid, all that stuff was happening. And that became what they thought a successful relationship was. They thought that that was how you did it. You, you did it. Until they found out later that that wasn't the stuff that was important. They had neglected the stuff that was important. They actually neglected each other. And so that's what that's what this morning is. We can't emphasize enough do not neglect each other do not and 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 active dating and taking time out um sometimes is the best way um and if you can get out of the city <laughs> that's, better, that's too. better too that's better too uh why why because it, it, it does kind of force the issue and I, and and guys it makes it a little easier because if you, if you, get, if you get out of the city then there are new things that you have that, that are there to talk about, if we can get out of the city. Now, now again, Paris, if you can go to Paris, rock on. 
be careful. But you can go to Paris, you can go to London, you can go, you can, if you can go on a cruise, cool, do that. Cruises are cool. You know, if you, if you can go on a cruise, yeah, we haven't been on a cruise yet, but we hope to at some point. And we'll take you along. Not for all of it, but for some of it. Like when we get on the boat. <laughs> We're leaving. And then that part at the end when we get off the boat, yeah, we'll take all along for that. But um, you know what? what? Whatever you can do, please do. For not for me, but for your relationship and for strengthening your relationship, and uh, and and that and that I'll tell you what will strengthen your family. If if you're really interested in strengthening, strengthening your family, that will strengthen your family. If you're really interested in being the power couple of the church, that will pull you. That will push you farther. If you're interested in in being a power couple in your in, in your community, that because you'll be because you'll be tighter. Uh, and relationship will be better. That'll make you more effective. It'll make you more more effective as a couple in all the arenas that you're in. So it's extremely important. It's extremely important. Your kids need it. Your kids need it because they need the example. Yes. You know, um, you guys saw that I put up on, especially for those of you who've gone to our YouTube channel. And if you have not gone to our YouTube channel, shame on you. What? Um, just go to YouTube and search for Real Talk with Deb and Will. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you get, that you click the notification button, um, and you'll see the videos that we've done. And I did a video about how kind of how I grew up. Um, and I'm telling you what, having a good example um, is extremely important. And 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 you'll see that I didn't have that example, but um, having a good example is extremely important if you want your kids to be successful long term then be that couple that they want to turn into be the be the husband that you want your son be the husband that you want your son to that you that you want your son to be uh, and be the wife that you want your daughters to be so that's good so that's really important so they can have so they can look to you as a positive example of where they want to have their lives and, and what, how they want to raise their kids. So that'll that's as important or more important than anything that you may do for them now, like making sure, making sure they get the soccer practice. And quite frankly, um, women, um, you will not accept certain things in your life if your father treated you uh, in a manner that was so special that you you have you have high standards. If you you have a father that, you know, because fathers take their daughters out on dates and they honor their daughters and they make sure that, you know, they see them treat their mother properly and, and respect them and, and love on them. And 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 and, uh, and once you're out dating and, and guys, different guys want to come after you or different things like that, you're not going to accept just any old thing. No, if you can't treat me as, as well as my dad treats me, what I need with you? Yes, I got my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need. I don't need that. I don't need that bit of ratchetness. Yeah, and uh, because because it, it, it is it is the it is the parents that sort of set the um, set the standard and and the quality of your relationship. And if you, and if you think your kids can't see when you're stressed, you're wrong. Because that's they all know. they got. Because that's all they got to do. <laughs> They know they don't have to go to they don't have to go to work. That's all they see is their you are their whole lives, um, so they know. So they and, and, and they and they also know when it's good because there's a calmness, there's a peace in the house. Um, so be really, really cognizant of the quality of your relationship. Um, active dating is one of those things that you can do, um, that you should do, that you have to do, that you must continue to do. Throughout the course of, relation, of your relationship, and you never, and no, you're asking, do you get too old for it? No, you don't. I don't think you ever get too old for it. No, I, I don't. I don't think that. It, I mean, so if you're in your sixties, I'll be in my sixties in, in a minute. Um, <laughs> I will be in my sixties in a minute. Um, but I don't think that at that point I can go. Okay, I'm done. Ugh, I'm just gonna sit here in the recliner and watch them curling. You know, no. As long as you're alive, as long as the relationship is alive, it must stay vibrant. Because yes. some of the people that we're talking about who who are in you know who get married and get divorced in thirty years are in their sixties. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what? 
who wants to go through all that again? <laughs> but they do. Uh, so that's really, really important. So this week, I know last week you probably had Friday off. A lot of people had good Friday off, whatever. So this week, promise yourself. Hey, Tammy, promise yourself this week that you're going to set aside some time for just, just the, two, the of two of you. Promise yourself you're going to do that. Um, promise each other. And it doesn't matter what comes up. It does not matter what comes up. Promise that sometime this week that you will do that. If you could take a lunch together in, in the middle of the week, that's cool. You know, somebody sang yes. a song about that once in the, in the 70s called Afternoon Delight. <laughs> no, it's, it's about a sandwich. <laughs> it actually is. It's a song about it. See, those, those of us who are already thought that song was about something else, but it's not. It's about. It's actually about a sandwich. Do you know that? About a sandwich, but Ooh, it can be used for <laughs> other things. <laughs> if if you have time for a little afternoon delight and not a sandwich, do it. Do it with your spouse. Do it. Not with somebody else. Do it. Do it with your spouse. Do it till you're satisfied. <laughs> Come on, man. Great music of the seventies. <laughs> Do it till you're satisfied. He's a little wired this morning, and you haven't even had coffee. I haven't had any coffee. As a matter of fact, I'm ready to go back and get in the bed and go to sleep. Uh, we got home, home late last it. night. Yeah, because I took the I, I took the longest way back from Daytona to Tampa, known the man. We, we, we went to trying Detroit. to avoid we construction. Went to, we went to Detroit, <laughs> and then we made a U-turn and we came back. Yeah, the four thousand mile trip from Daytona to Tampa. Yeah, I went to long. I went the longest way possible. And once you, you know, once you get started, you, what do you do? You can't turn around. Like, okay, like swimming across the English Channel, and getting tired and swimming back. Um, so you just got to finish it up. Yeah, we left there about I don't know, two thirty. Got here about nine o'clock. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, we're tired. So I'm a little tired. I'm 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 a little goofy. So in, so, so in any case, promise yourself that you'll do that. And promise us that you'll go to the YouTube channel because this is going to be up on the YouTube channel here in a little bit. Um, go to the YouTube channel. There are a lot channel. of other videos out there that are good. So if you're searching for things in, on YouTube, search for uh, Real, Real, Real Talk. Talk. Real Talk with Deb and Will. Yeah. And uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way when we post something on YouTube again, You'll know. And YouTube is a very interesting. Um, it's weird. Very weird. <laughs> interesting. Uh, what is it? Social media platform. It's weird. Um, and but getting weirder. It has a lot of interesting channels people and eating. people out there. People hey. eating on the mukbangs is what they're called, and um, it's it's something that I found when I was out on on for my surgery the last year that and I was like what is this but uh it's an I think it's going to take away from regular television soon it already has um <clears throat> it's very interesting and you can watch it on your phone you can watch it on your laptop you can watch it on your your uh notebook you know little uh you tablet eat, you can, eat, stuff you can and, watch it with green eggs and ham Sam, I am green eggs and ham, <laughs> but it it I think it's it has a lot of good things out there. It's any social media aspect. Um, there are good and bad things, but uh, YouTube I think has a, a a good thing going there. And I I, I felt I, in my heart that we needed to do something to support that. So, like my friend Ralph says, you know what? Eat the chicken and throw away the bone. Cause there's a bunch of there's a bunch of bizarre just bizarre stuff out there. Of course, um, avoid that, um, and you can avoid that easily by um, subscribing to our you know our our, show. our channel. Um, again, search for Real Talk with Devin Will. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and you know what? And you're right. You're right. There are a lot of people who are who are saying that that you know th this thing or that thing are losing ratings. When the fact is that people are just watching television differently. Um, I would say we watch YouTube probably fifty percent or maybe yeah, even we probably, more. Yeah, on the, on the front now, TV we probably watch more we've YouTube. Given up regular. We probably TV. watch more YouTube than, than than regular TV, and and we're not a millennial family where it's not just millennials doing this. Uh, no, you know people who aren't who aren't in that age range 
are doing it now too. So uh, again, all that to say, go to our YouTube channel, <laughs> subscribe, and click the notification bell because YouTube try to be tricky sometimes, and they think just because you subscribe, you get the notifications. And <laughs> now click the bell and um, com- like and comment and share. We really appreciate it. All right, time to get out of here, and I need to get some coffee. I know it doesn't seem like I need some, but I'm telling you, I need some. <laughs> um, so, again, have a good week. Purpose to spend some time together. Um, purpose, to, you know what, and you won't do it right all the time because you won't, because you'll go, well, so where do you want to go? <laughs> I don't know. Where do you want to go? Well, so, so, so where, no, plan so ahead. Where you, so where do you want to go? Plan, plan ahead. So what do you we, we, we are kind of guilty of that. So where do you want to go? <laughs> Guilty of not I, I, planning. And then you know what happens? Nine hours later, you're sitting in the, in the living room going, What so do you want to do? <laughs> is, 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 is it too late now? Yeah. So plan ahead. Just it, And just go. Get your little planners out, ladies, and, and look at some dates. I mean, and like he said, it doesn't have to be anything expensive, but planning ahead for like uh, cruises and trips and different things that are kind of expensive, you you need to do that but um you do need to have time to to actively date be responsible adults and and parents caregivers take care of your relationship do that all right we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else so to to, to see, see you again go out there and learn something love somebody and for goodness sake y'all take care of yourself we'll see you when we love see you. you peace peace we're out